Pat Kramer. I'm here with Taya Gill, the world premiere of Teach Your Children Well, uh, in association with Cat Kramer's films that changed the world. And uh, we're in Lola's in Long Beach, a hot Mexican restaurant. The movie's going to premiere across the street at the Art Theater. And Taya is a woman of many talents, um, also very supportive of the issues tonight. And I just want to ask you a little bit about you know, before even seeing the film, I know you were excited to be here. I wanted to know if you've had experience with being bullied or, you know, um, anyone close to you or what you feel about what's happening right now because it's such an important issue that we need to address. Yes, I think it is. And I, I think that this film uh, touches probably on many of the topics that a lot of the young people are facing today, particularly with the internet. And I find that that is probably where um, a lot of the mysteries and the silence occurs because it is held uh, at a distance because of the screen. And of course that's where the immediate um, violence can occur because it enters into the body and into the mind and into the heart so, so quickly and, and, and so dramatically. And I think that that's why uh, there is a lot uh, that is not discussed and that I think a lot is kept secret. And I think that films like this that I, I propose are, uh, I suspect, are going to be opening up a lot of discussion for a lot of people in the audience tonight. Breaking a lot of the silence behind the screen uh, uh, in terms of bullying, not only in real life, but the bullying that occurs online. I mean, there was a special about it just the other night on ABC. It's um, it seems to be an epidemic right now. What do you feel that you hope will be accomplished, not only with you know, the parents getting involved, taking action, and also just you know having the movie seen in schools? And I know you haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure you've seen the trailer. But um, were you ever bullied or anyone close to you? I've had uh, I've had a complicated um, uh, experience with the. Uh, the second-hand nature of bullying, uh, not first-hand, not in not in this real life, but I can I can understand how online, as um, someone who uh, is a public person, can be misunderstood and misperceived and, and, and incorrectly uh, perceived. And I think that for for young people, especially, um, being misperceived and being misunderstood is where the confusion arises for the young people to be able to speak truthfully and honestly about themselves. And I think it's in, in that arena where the most danger occurs. For me, I'm an adult. Uh, I can I can handle it. I have I have uh, maturity and experience behind me. It's for the young people that don't that the major concern of course arises. Thank you, Taya. I can't I'm wait here to with Daniel Pewter, who's one of our special celebrity guests tonight at the world premiere of Teach Your Children Well. We're at the party at Lola's in Long Beach. The film is across the street at the Art Theater. And Daniel is also not only a special guest, but he's participating in the silent auction that we have. And I want to have Daniel tell you a little bit about it. Uh, Daniel, tell me about why you're excited to be here tonight and, and um, what you're hoping to see, what you expect from the film, and also about your auction. I, uh, you know, I'm here tonight because it's a great cause. I think that, uh, you know, I, I told you last week, you know, hey, let's do something, let's raise you guys some more money. Um, so we're auctioning off, uh, there's an eight by 10, and there's also a training, uh, we have up to 10 people or so. It's, so I get to train somebody, a couple people, and it's gonna be fun, raise you guys some money. And um, you know, I think I think the film is a good cause. I, I think it needs to be out there more, and I think it needs to be a little more mainstream of what you guys are doing. And, and uh, I'm backing, backing you guys 100%, so thank you for the invite. Well, I saw you speak at the Stonewall Democratic Party and uh, dinner awards, and uh, you know, tell us a little bit about what you're currently up to now, besides uh, everything else. Any anything you want to share? Yeah, I launched My Life, My Power, which is in a, uh, started off with anti-bullying uh, because there were some suicides about eight, nine months ago. And in the last uh, couple months, we wrote a school program. Uh, we're coming out with a book, which is the program. And the LA County Sheriffs and LAPD picked it up for their kids' programs, uh, which is great. And we've also added teen pregnancy, suicide, drugs and alcohol, dropouts, and uh, obesity as part of it. So we're really trying to, uh, it's a goal setting mentoring character building program. So we're really trying to cover everything there is to do with youth. And uh, but bullying uh, is one of my passions. So I'm, uh, I'm here 
Memorial Day. is uh, terribly important and true and uh, so essential to uh, creating some kind of a safe environment for all our LGBT young people. I, uh, this, this film is really designed to be a tool for transformation uh, that will carry the message to schools and PTA meetings and support groups and other venues. Uh, so that people who really need to see this film see it, and for concerned people who know what the, about this or this message, they will be able to begin the change for some kind of uh, real uh, uh, attitude in society, and to just and to just to, to stop some of these terribly misguided beliefs that foster homophobia. Uh, this. Uh, it's kind of remarkable because, you know, here we are in Long Beach with Hollywood so near and yet so far. And uh, Hollywood, a city known for its lavish, big budget productions, uh, I must say that Teach Your Children Well, however, is not one of them. <laughs> been a, an absolute self-funding labor of love and we need your support that's why we build this evening uh, as a premier fundraiser I did leave out the, the fact that premieres are always exciting don't you think <laughs> I mean, there is a very anticipation about them because as an audience we know that we are going to be the first to get to see a new film and so this film is one as I said has been a labor of love and we need your support to meet the numerous costs that we still face in getting this film out to the people who do need to see it. Uh, I was talking to my cousin who just happens to be a, a teacher at uh, Cal State here. Um, hey. Go and we were talking about, you know, being and bullying and, and what it was like when uh, he was a young boy growing up in rural Kentucky. So you can imagine what he endured, and my own precious brother grew up in mid-city, inner-city Detroit, and he had no less uh, severe uh, suffering at the hands of bullies and people who completely uh, wanted to intimidate him and discount him and make him feel completely negative about himself. Uh, and I must say, you know, they do a pretty good job of it. But my cousin, as we were talking this evening, on the way here, and he said, you know, statistically they've shown that if one child steps forward and intervenes in the, in the instance of bullying, that it will absolutely turn the dynamic. And that could be that one child that, you know, comes from a parent who has taught that child well, or seen this film, or a child who has seen that, this film. And that's why it's so important that I'm asking you to, if you're able and if you choose to make up, some of you, many of you, most of you, perhaps all of you, make a generous contribution or a modest contribution. Because believe me, every contribution is important. I don't care if it's $2, if it's $5, if it's $5,000. Um, no one uh, wants a contribution on the stamps. So are uh, up to it, if you have any resources, it would be most welcome. Uh, I hope some of you got some wonderful items at the silent auction. And, uh, and I, I cannot thank you enough for being here tonight and for being a part of this event. Hi, I'm Paul Belsito. I'm one of the associate producers for Teacher Children Well, and um, I felt pretty compelled to be a part of this movie. First of all, because of my partner, Stephen, is co-producer and writer to the film, and he pretty much 
drew me close to this film because it was such a passion for him to be a part of co-producing this project that, um, you know, being that we live and cohabitate together, I'm his right-hand man and I sense that this was very important that I come on board. He asked me to come on board and from the moment uh, that that happened, I was 100% forward and with him as, uh, you know, part of the team and for me, uh, it hit home because I too, like a lot of us here tonight, have been hit with the bullying issue when I was a young boy and um, the road was not easy, it was a very difficult one and, and I I was one of the kids out there that uh, contemplated suicide um, more than once. And uh, I'm living like Coco Peru said in the film, you know, it gets better and somebody up there, many angels up there were watching me. And I feel that I'm very lucky because God himself has watched over me and I'm proof that it does get better and from the love and support of everybody here tonight and all all my old friends, all my existing family and all my new friends tonight that are here, showing the love and support is what's gonna make this film continue to progress forward and only grow stronger with the more support out there of everyone in our nation to make this a success. So please help in any way you can and we appreciate everyone here tonight and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Good night.